We are excited to begin this year's ministry, mortgage, and capital appeal so that we as a household of God and this place as a house of God proclaim Christ and God's welcome for all people. I want to invite forward Courtney and Debbie because they're going to tell you a little bit more in just a moment about what we're up to this week. We are part of a three-pronged appeal that includes raising funds for capital improvements that can't be tackled in our annual budget. And we're so pleased to be able to tell you that thanks to the generosity of people giving early and lead gifts, we have already reached our early goal of being at the halfway mark for the capital appeal. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your generosity already. Our appeal also focuses on our mortgage, keeping that strong so that it will be paid off in just four years. And then we're also thinking about general ministry, annual giving, and that's our focus for today. So our president, Debbie Erickson, and Courtney, Courtney Donnelly are going to tell you a little bit more about that right now. Good morning, everyone. Because we are focusing on lifting up um, youth, family, and young adult ministries, we thought it was important that we hear from one of our youth leaders. So we invite Courtney forward to talk about why Bethlehem is important to her. Hi, I'm Courtney Donnelly, and I'm a senior at Tech High School. And Bethlehem has always been a part of my life. I was baptized here, and as a rambunctious two-year-old, I spent a lot of time in the lobby playing with my dad when I was too loud in church. I promise, I'm much better behaved now. I also attended preschool and Sunday school here. I sang in the youth choir, and I was confirmed here. I now teach Sunday school, and this is my third year teaching. I've been able to be a part of numerous service and learning opportunities, going on mission trips to Belize and Los Angeles, helping serve meals at Place of Hope, learning more about the homeless people here in St. Cloud through Laundry Love, and much more. I've enjoyed meeting new people that I would not have otherwise met and connected with here. I've been able to build a foundation of faith that will stay with me as an adult. I'm grateful for everyone here and what BLC has made possible for me. I'm here to say thank you and to encourage this continued commitment to the youth of Bethlehem and the services we provide. We do great things and we can continue to grow together. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Courtney can do it without notes, but I, you see, need some help. My family's relationship with youth programming at Bethlehem began when we enrolled our th daughter, who was three at the time, Charlotte, in preschool here. One day, I picked her up after preschool and we were discussing her day. Knowing that they had had chapel time that day, I asked her who had led the chapel time, and her response to me was, it was the blonde one, Mom, you know, Pastor God. <laughs> At the time, I did my best to clarify the situation, but maybe Charlotte was already seeing God in the face of others. Charlotte is in seventh grade now and began confirmation this fall. Pastor Chad's sermon last week asked us to push past the what and into the deeper why, so I was reflecting this week on the why of our choice to engage in this program. And one reason is the idea of sanctuary. At a time of mounting social pressure, our youth need a sanctuary now more than ever. So why is the sanctuary at Bethlehem? Sports and activities can provide very meaningful opportunities to build community. However, the factor that distinguishes church is because our scale is different here. The worldly skill, excuse me, the worldly scale is based on strengths. My worldly value is based on being the smartest, most talented, most attractive, wealthiest, most powerful person that I can be. The problem with this scale is that it's based on scarcity. I have, come, I have to compare myself to others to prove that I have value. Someone else has to be less so that I can be more. Jesus uses a scale based on abundance. He loves me when I am strong, 
but I believe his love for me increases when I need him more. And my value increases when I can meet the needs of others. By using Jesus' scale, scarcity actually breeds abundance. When we teach our youth like Courtney and Charlotte to respond to God's call, they will see the face of Jesus in each of us and we will see it reflected back in theirs. That is why Bethlehem offers a sanctuary that other communities cannot and why it is such an important investment, not just for Courtney and Charlotte and in our other youth, but for each and every one of us. Thank you.